Maddie. Um, we run the Ralph's Puppy Retreat. <laughs> I have Hank here with me. <laughs> um, Ralph was his dog that's been here for ever since the very first Beard Fest in whose backyard was it again? Like they had like a shared backyard. I want to say it's Jeremy's house. So ever since the backyard one, and last year was his last year, sadly. Um, but he went out in a fucking rock star. The announcement he got from last year's dog parade, you got to pull it up, I swear. It was beautiful. Um, and so after that, I guess... We wanted to continue on his legacy, his memory, because even if you didn't know him, you knew who Ralph was. <laughs> he made friends with everybody here. So in memory of him, I guess we want to continue on making those memories with these other dogs, just like Ralph would as well. I mean, do you have any input? He was your dog. So yeah. Um it's, it's all about Ralphie, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I wasn't sure I'd be able to come out to the festivals and get back into this without him by my side because uh, he, um, he broke everyone of their stress and tension just on sight. Like, I could bring him around any kind of argument or stress, and, like, he was like a referee. Even if dogs were fighting, he'd be like, hey, hey, hey. And they'd be like, okay, we're just getting around. You know, but, like, he'd see a couple yelling at each other at, like, a Wawa or a fucking chop right. And immediately, you'd see like two phases where they're like, yeah, right, right, you suck, right, right, right. wait, no way. <gasps> it's a dog! And they like come running over and like, he just had this, this gift of separating people from stress and kind of like giving them a little room to have some love in there instead. And like, I don't know, it's gonna take a while to figure out how to adopt some of his skills that he had, but I figured, you know, at least trying to get some people to think about animal orphanages and like the wildlife refuge down the street, Cedar Run. I mean, I, I found like an injured cardinal, a baby squirrel that we found at Beard Fest that fell mm -hmm. out of its nest backstage. We yep. caught it, we saved it, we were feeding it watermelons and strawberry pieces. I took it over to Cedar Run, they released him into my yard, so now there's a little squirrel that eats peanuts out of my hands all the time and fucking lingers on the porch waiting for me like, hey, what's up, Hank? <laughs> Dude, we just saved a baby skunk that I found and a snapper turtle that got hit by a car. And they're right down the street. So we we're trying to bring some attention to some of the people that give back and, you know, trying to encourage some people to adopt. Maybe adopt a wiener when you're at it, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's pretty much the vibe we're setting, trying to figure out what Ralphie would want us to do. And we feel like some doggy pools, some doggy treats, couches, and just chill vibe is the goal, you know? So... Yeah, I think uh, next year we'll develop a lot more and we kind of see some of the things we got to change and grow in the process. But what you got? You got the some whole story of how this even happened. Um, there was one year, I think it was two, three years ago. I'm sitting at my campsite just just like I am today. And all of a sudden, the wiener dog just comes up and plops right down on the inflatable and just makes himself cozy like no issues and two minutes later he comes up and he's like well i guess we're camping here i'm like yeah and then every year after that i've always seeked you guys out because then we always had a camp dog so yeah and um uh, I remember literally last year, I'm like, where are you guys? I have to find you. <laughs> but yeah, no, if it weren't for that couch over there, I don't think this campsite ever would have happened. <laughs> yeah. You had the dog, I brought the creativity. 